for those who do not understand the questions if at all anything is there please share with me and i'll help you okay okay so all of you uh, focus on your accuracy once again so we'll count the accuracy guys let me see these accuracies are being monitored for all your future purposes including participation in acceleration so hence please maintain your accuracy lower accuracy means automatically you will be out of the game so hence okay so we'll start 8 o'clock it is and uh, yes so the first question is on your screen guys on the first question on your screen Okay, so last 10 seconds, these kind of questions you'd have seen in your previous grades as well. Very good, so everyone has anyways voted, but still not everyone could get it right. So this was very simple question. And uh, okay, so 7.45, so you know the clock. This is minutes hand and at 7.45, let's say this is 6 and this is 7 and this is 8. Okay, so each each hour corresponds to 30 degrees and since it is 7.45, the hour hand will be exactly 3 fourth. 3 fourth, isn't it? So you have to divide it into 4 parts. 4 part, each, each of them is 7.5 degrees. So hence 30 plus 7.5 degrees. So answer is? 37.5 Clear? This is the answer. So many of you have not got it. So answer is 37 and half. Yep. Also the options were pretty much uh, indicative of that this is not possible, this is not possible because it cannot be a regular angle at a odd hour. What I mean by odd hour is the minute hand is between 7 to 8. So it will not be making a very perfect angle. So hence Okay, yes, Srijan. So, options were very obvious. Okay, so the first leaderboard of the... So, mention your accuracy. So, obviously, 1 by 1 or 0 by 1. 1 by 1 or 0 by 1. Okay. Okay. Very good. Next question. Next question on the board. Please be ready. Yes. Try to pick up on your... Accuracy. Here is the next question.
Okay, so here is the response. I hope you would have noticed there was a slight. Yeah, I can. I could sense that. So most of you have made it wrong. I know most of you would have fallen for the trap which was there in the question. And I told you the questions would be easy, but options would not be. So the question was to find out the complement of the angle. And most of you have found out the angle itself. Okay, so as I told you, right, so hence answer is 60 degrees. And it was very simple to solve. Half of the complement of an angle, that means if x is complement, x is the angle, 90 minus x is the complement, 90 minus x by 2 is equal to fifth of the supplement. So 180 minus x is the supplement and divide by 5. So it was plain and simple linear equation, but I knew that you will not read the question properly and you will fall for trap. So 45 minus x by 2 is equal to 36 minus x by 5. So hence 45 minus 36 is x by 2 minus x upon 5. So 9 is equal to 5x minus 2x upon 10. So x is 30 degrees. If you solve it, you will get x is 30 degrees. Right? But the question was the complement of the angle is 60 degrees. Okay, so the answer was 60 degree and the response clearly shows the questions appear to be easy. Okay, so good, yeah, next question on your screen. So these are degrees, minutes and seconds, right? So 36 degree, 43 minutes and 9 seconds. Okay, so last five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so the question was very simple and easy. You don't need to calculate anything, but still not many of you could get it. So I need to explain this to you. And uh, so uh, you have to read it properly. It was supplement of complement of this. Okay, supplement of the complement of this. So supplement of complement of this is nothing but 180 minus 90 minus this number 36 degree 43 minutes and 09 seconds. So you don't need to calculate anything. So it was simple 180 minus 90 plus 36 degree 43 minutes and 09 seconds. 180 minus 90 is simply 90. So 90 plus 36 126 and the game was done. Okay, so, yep, so you don't need to, you know, many people would have got disturbed by these figures, but you actually didn't require this in the question. Sir, I did it another way. Now, tell me. 
So basically, they ask the supplement of the complement. So first find the complement, then subtract the supplement from the complement. Uh, that's exactly what I was hinting upon, Sunan. I don't need to do it. You will save time. Oh. If you first yes, subtract and then subtract again, it will be waste of time, right? So hence, this was the demand of the question. And the demand of the question helped me actually. So now I am adding this angle to what? 180 minus 90, which is 30. So it is very simple to add 30 to 36 degree 43 minutes and 8 seconds. Sir, 90 to 36 degree 43 minutes. I'm sorry? Sir, it's 90 degree, right? 90 uh -huh. plus 30. Uh -huh. No, no. So what I'm just, I was giving you example. So adding a few a integer to this will be much easier than subtracting it. Right? Okay. So hence, this is the answer. Sir, so how come there are 20 questions today? My wish, Ahan, why what happened? So here is the next leaderboard. Okay, so this is the new leaderboard. Harita, Tanvi, Srijan, Nishant, Raghav, Pooja, Anuya, Maverick. Who's Maverick? Identify please. Who's, who's this guy? Maverick. Jagrav. Okay. Next, Vignesh and Tony. Next question on your board. Instead of wasting time on chat, please focus on the question. Spend time and solve it. Please take time and solve it. There is something in the question. So all of you say easy in the beginning, but the response doesn't sh show that. Okay, so here is the final, see, if it is so easy, maximum people are making it wrong. Okay, so now you know why, why that questions are set. Okay, so here is the question. In an examination, a student made a mistake of calculating the complementary of given angle. So let's say the given angle was x and he found out 90 minus x, but he should have found out 180 minus x. This is what he wanted to find out. Find out. The incorrect answer. So this is the incorrect answer was one third of the correct answer. So, sorry. Uh, Yes, the incorrect answer was one third of the correct answer. So this is the equation. Okay, so hence 90 minus x is equal to 60 minus x by 3. Okay, so hence what will happen? 30 is equal to x minus x by 3. So 30 is equal to 2x upon 3. Right, so x is equal to 45 x is equal to 45 but then you have to find out the correct answer not the angle the question was not to find out given angle the question was to find out correct answer and correct answer was supplementary of x so hence answer was 135 degrees okay so hence 
प्लीज एज आई कीप से दुर्घटना घटी नहीं सावधानी हटी दुर्घटना घटी सो प्लीज बी फोकस्ड वेन क्वेश्चन आर इजियर इट्स मोर टफ ओके नेक्स्ट so the top 10 people are also not performing every time okay next question on the on the screen guys please again stay away from unnecessary chats easy peasy and all that stuff easy is when when you celebrate after your win not before that i hope the image is clear otherwise i will demonstrate here in my screen so let me show you Suchir, stay away from unnecessary spam spamming. So I couldn't see one of the angles, and I like the nine looked like a zero, and I messed up the question. Does it, does it look like sixty-nine degrees? Ah. Uh -huh. So, but like when you see uh, Menti, it's like looks like oh. a zero. Oh. Hence, I told it to you once. So time's up. So time's up. Oof, still, still oh not everyone is able to get this why less than 50% so it is so easy yes so it was easy very easy so uh, you did not do anything actually uh, clearly m is 69 degrees m is 69 degrees and why is that why is m 69 degree what philosophy which law which rule says m Or in the nice corresponding angles, not ordinary. Corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. So L is parallel to N, so M is 69 degrees because of corresponding angles. And then this angle was to be found out, and this is nothing but let's say this is X. X is nothing but 65 degrees plus 69 degrees. That's it. Which law? Which rule says this? What is this rule called? Which theorem? Exterior angle. So exterior angle theorem suggests that the exterior angle will be equal to interior sum of interior opposite angles. So opposite to this exterior angle is these two. So if you sum them, you will get x, and that's what was asked. So right, it should be very should be done very easily. But never mind. Let's see the scores. Sir, so we could just draw that line in between, and then. Uh, sorry, sorry, could not get you. Just a sir, minute. Sir, we could we could just draw the line in. Which line? In the like we could draw a line extending from O, like on two sides. So, then 180 minus 16 and 180 minus 65. You don't need to do that because again you have to do 180 minus this in the center. Yeah, and then you can. The to draw a line like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how does it help? So this is 65, 69 degrees. Yeah, yeah. And 65 degrees, same thing. Yeah, you can do that ways also. ठीक है, चल. Yes. Yeah, sorry, someone is saying something. The image horizontally. Huh? Can sorry. you give the image horizontally? I changed it 
image direction you are saying yes sir yes sir it's better when you turn in 90 degrees either way why yes sir then you can draw the figure again yes, it's tricky it's tricky it makes it tricky Hey, come on, guys. Do you think they will ask you before putting that patch? You know, diagram. That hey, should I? Best way is take a screenshot, go uh, quickly, open it, and rotate it. No, best way is to get accustomed to these instead of wasting time on all of. So I just drew the diagram again. Right. So hence, all those who are trying to, you know, see none of the see. This is where you don't understand. The idea is to trap you there where you are most vulnerable. Right. So hence. the questions in all the exams will be like that where you are most vulnerable no none of the competitive exams will give you a question where you are strongest possible candidate not at all so better you get equipped or you know accustomed to these rather than trying to change the pattern of the question okay so hence now that you have told me i will make sure that i will give you these kind of questions only you should not have told me this anyways now Okay, Ahan. So, okay, yes, unnecessarily comments will be barred, and you will be thrown out of the quiz. Please, let's maintain the decorum. Okay. So can you show the ah, can you, when it's yeah, can you please show in the slide? Yeah. So this is Inception. Ah, this is Jurassic Park. Sir, angle D is thirty-four degrees, right? Angle D is not thirty-four. Angle this angle is thirty-four here. Here, oh, point, yes, here, point, here. So let me draw this. Is thirty-four. Drove, no gang shang thing. Stay away from unnecessary commenting. That's the only reason why your accuracy is not hundred percent. You guys are distracted. Just stay focused on the question. So time is time. Is. Okay, so good. So most of you are at least this is the first question after so many easy questions where I am seeing thirty-eight out of fifty-eight people uh, giving the right answer. So that suggests that none of the topics are easy. Okay, but it was very easy. So this is thirty-four, and what all do you know? So who knows? B is seventy-six, right? Direct. B is seventy-six degrees. You don't need so to it's do an options because if you calculate thirty four seventy six are only option C. Okay, is it? Can you explain it? Sir, so, D is D is not seventy six. B B. I'm saying oh, yeah, B. B is B is seventy six degrees. Okay, so uh, clearly what all? If this is thirty four, this is seventy six. C is how much? Angle sum property one eighty minus seventy six minus thirty four, which is seventy. Right. So C is seventy. मतलब this ruled out. This ruled out. Okay. The moment C is seventy, D is also seventy, and uh, yeah, B. B was seventy six. How? Because if this is seventy six, this is seventy six. Right. Why are these two equal? Corresponding angles. Right. So if this is seventy six, then this has to be seventy six. Alternate interior. So now easy. So if it is So D is also seventy. So it, just in case, if you want to solve it prop fully, so seventy six plus seventy now. And in fact, you don't need to do all of that. A is directly equal to thirty four. Why alternate interior? Right? You don't need to calculate anything else. So A can you see directly? This is alternate to this. So A is thirty four. So immediately, out of these two, this was ruled out. So C. 
Okay, so easier one. Most of you have got it also. So nice. So is it true false today? Yes. I stated that in the very beginning itself. Hmm. Okay. Some shuffling is happening. Shallow. Next question, guys. Good decision. Very good. Nice. So. Next. Okay, so last five seconds, and uh, let's see how many of you have solved this one. And even if you have not been able to, oh, most of you have good. So you know this already. So formula-based question actually. So we know that uh, if there's a regular polygon, regular polygon is that polygon which has equal sides. All sides are equal. Is regular polygon. So regular polygon, the internal angle is nothing but n minus 2 by n into 180 degrees. Okay, this is what the formula is, isn't it? So this is equal to 150 degrees. And how do we arrive at this formula? So I told you by angle sum property. Angle sum property. What do we what do we know? So this is 180 degrees. When n is equal to 3. Total sum of the angle is 180 degrees. If you add one more triangle, that is if you make a quadrilateral, it becomes n is equal to 4. Four sides are there. But two triangles meaning n minus 2 into 180 degrees. So, correct. This is how uh, total uh, the sum of the angle sum property of any polygon is there. So, if any polygon of n side is there, so total angle is one n minus 2 by 180 degree. And one angle will be divided by n. And this is given as 150 degrees. If you solve this equation, you will get n into 180 minus 360 is equal to 150n. Right? And then I am writing here. So this is 30n is equal to 360 degrees. Right? So hence n is... Excuse well, me, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, I got disconnected. Can you tell me the answer to the last question? Last question was C. Oh yeah, thank you. Okay, n is equal to 12. So, do decagon. Do deca. This is the name. Okay, do decagon. So, 12 sides of the polygon. Okay, nice, good. Let's go to the next question.
Revolutions per minute is the usual unit of a rotational motion. You would have studied in physics as well. Motion, rotation, motion. Yes, RPM. So you now know in how many minutes, how many degrees. So in three seconds, how many degrees? Someone's mic is on unmute. Please put it on mute. Jagrav, put it on mute. Sorry, sir. Okay, so let's see. Mm, mixed response. Many people didn't know the answer. Let me explain. So a uh, fan is rotating at a speed of 600 revolutions per minute. That means in one minute, that is in 60 seconds, how many revolutions it is completing? 600. 600 revolutions, full circle. So in one second, how many revolutions will it do? It will do 10 revolutions. In one second, how many revolutions? 10 seconds, uh, 10 revolutions. So in three seconds, it will do 30 revolutions. Isn't it? Now in one revolution, one revolution is equivalent to what? 360 degrees? One full sweep, 360 degrees. Okay. And multiplied by how much? 30. So 30 into 360 should be the answer. This much so angle. Can we, so can we assume it another way? Like it makes 600 revolutions per minute. So the angle will be number of revolutions into time. Number of revolutions into time. So you have to reduce the time, change the units of time, no? Yes, sir. This is minute, this is seconds, so you have to convert them. Yes, sir. Yeah, so that's that's how it has to be done. So hence, uh, so basically, if you talk in physics, that is given as angular, dis this is called angular displacement actually. So angular displacement is nothing but angular speed. You have studied, right, into time. This is the formula. Angular displacement. Angle is called angular displacement, right? So angular speed. Sir. In this case, yes, sir. Sir, it will be angular distance because angular displacement is zero. Angular angular displacement is zero. Yes. Come to come to accelerator, then I'll I'll, I'll discuss. Okay. It's not zero. So angular displacement is angular speed into time. Okay. So uh, what, how? But I thought that. A the displacement is supposed to be that displacement is in, in oh, that so is so these are two different things yes so one is called linear displacement what you guys are studying right now is or translational okay. displacement this is rotational motion what you are studying is right now is translational motion translational motion okay when you come to rotational motion then we'll talk about angular displacements Okay, these are two different, there are three types of motion we study in physics or, you know, in mechanics, translation motion, rotation motion and oscillatory motion. Okay, so right now in ninth grade, your syllabus covers this. When you come to 11th grade, both of these you have to study. Okay, anyways, so then we will discuss angular displacement is equal to angular speed into time. And here angular speed is RPM, but RPM is not the right unit. It has to be converted into radians per second. But then I have just transformed the question for you because it's an it's an angle based question. So hence, so hence I, I didn't want to introduce this formula to you right now, but you can solve it like this also, right? So total number of 
total angle swept by the blades will be this how much 3 into 36 is 1 naught 8 and double zero degrees so this much angle D okay next Hmm. Next question, guys, on the board. So, let me show you the question here. So, this angle is 130 degrees. This angle is 40 degrees. So my thing on phone. Sorry, sorry. My, my, door, my, my, door. my system is on. Your voice is echoing. I think you are Arush. Yes, sir. So my yeah. my my system is on. Yeah. Yeah. My software did not allow me to click it. Clicked on its own. Oh, glitch. So time's up. Okay. Fair enough. So most of you have got it, but again, not 50%. So this is the, oh, I showed the leaderboard first. Oh, never mind. Oh, what happened? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. What happened? So, so many people did not. I would like to see that first once again. So this was the answer. And this was the so one, two, three, four, five people could not get the right answer. Oh, okay. Never mind. So here was the explanation to this. I hope, I think most of you have done this one that you draw. Sorry. So I don't know how to, anyways. So let's say you draw another line parallel. Okay. So this becomes 40 and this becomes 50. Why 50? Because Consecutive interior angle. If there are two, if there are two angles, if there are two, uh, you know, um, consecutive interior angle sum is 180 degrees. That's what we learned in lines and angles. So hence, this D is equal to 90 degrees. Yep, D is 90. So if D is 90, 2D is equal to 180 degrees, and that's a straight angle. There was 2D not D. Okay, so hence the right angle was okay. Shall so, but once you get 50, how do you say that that's a right angle? This angle, this this hole is this hole is right angle. Why? Because this is 40 here. This is 50 here. So 40 plus 50 is 90. Got it? Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Here. So that is 90. So that the moment it is 90, D is 90. D is 90 means 2D is 180. 180. So straight angle. Good. Next question, please. So here is next question. Okay, let me show you.
Wait. Oh, it's there only. Sir, are both the angles Y? Yes. Okay. Leftmost, okay, let me write this. This is X. Time's up? No, sir. Yes, sir. So, time's up. Time's up. Okay, cool. So, most of you are actually, I wanted to rescue this question, but I could not. While I was preparing this question, I was solving as well, and I had left these marks over here. These were these were not part of the question actually, but anyways, you got the advantage. Of anyways, any which way it was easy question. So this was not given. These x were not given. So you have to say that this is this equal to this because corresponding angle, and this angle is equal to this angle because alternate angle. But I know x plus y plus y is 180 degrees. Right, so hence. So that's why so I was that, wondering why there was such a perfect X perfect and this weird X. Weird X. <laughs> now you understand, right? So I was solving that question at you know some time back when I was preparing the slide, and prob by mistake that those so marks were left over. An I'm sorry. It's selected as an answer. I selected B, then it's selected. So it is yes, 90 minus X upon two. Very easy question. Chalo, never mind. But still. Some people could not get it. I had written the answer there, but you could not pick it up. Never mind. Next question. Okay, so next question is here. So let me show you. So I hope you are able to see this. This is X. This angle is X. This angle is 25 degrees. And this angle is 105 degrees. Drew, what's your accuracy? Dhruv, Dhruv. Those who are saying easy now, I'll check their accuracy level back. I can pay. I have all the data, don't worry. No worries, Siddharth. If you are, if you know you are correct, you are correct. Excuse me, sir. Yes, who's this? When does the true false thing start? After 12th question. So the true false are 8 seconds each, eh? Yes.
time's up time up sir fair enough so okay so most of you have got it correct so this was very simple there were multiple ways you could have solved this one is directly produce it to this okay so this is x because of corresponding angles right this angle is also x so if that is x so, x is so yes. what's the answer 130 degrees thank you sir so i did with exterior angles that So I am also doing the same thing. So this x is one not five plus twenty five because exterior angle. So these are interior opposite angles. So one not five plus twenty five is one thirty degrees. Yeah, you could have done that, or you could have done this also, right? I don't know how to delete. Wait a minute. Uh, pointer options eraser. So yes, pointer options pen. Now. This angle is one not five again. So let me write it here. So this angle is one not five again, and again x is the exterior angle, so sum of one not five plus twenty five any which way. Okay, so one thirty is the right answer. Uh, sorry, Gargi, if that's happening, that have been that have been happening. So those things are happening. No problem. Next leaderboard. Okay, so good. Next question on the board, guys. Let me show you this here. So let me write these angles. This is x plus 15. This is this angle here is 3y, and this angle here is 2y plus 25. So x plus 15 and 2y plus 25 are vertically opposite angles, right? Yeah, these these two are yes. Yeah. So I got so involved in the question that I didn't take my accuracy for ninth and tenth question. You didn't understand, Tanya? So time is up, sir. Time is up. Okay. So still many people could not get it right. Hmm. Okay. So it was very very simple question actually. So x plus fifteen is equal to two y plus twenty five. First of all. Okay, and two y plus three. So is the answer supposed to be eighty-five? Uh, it is supposed to be ninety-five because there's a question. So even I got eighty-five. Find the supplement of. Yes, sir. When you oh subtract, it's eighty-five. Okay, let's see. So three y is equal to how much? Three y is two uh, y plus twenty-five. Two y plus twenty-five. So y is twenty-five. Okay, so if y is twenty-five, so it's ninety-five. So if if y is twenty-five, what? How much is x? So you can you can calculate from here. So this will become x plus fifteen is equal to fifty. Two y is fifty plus twenty-five. So x is sixty. Am I right? Yeah. 
x is 60 and y is 25. So x plus y is 85. x plus y is 85. And you have to find out what? Supplement of this. Okay. Clear? So this was the answer. Right? Let's see. See, lines and angles are inherently very easy topic. So, uske baad, you know, you have to have some kind of drama there, no? To make it little tricky. Okay? Fair enough. So, all set for the MCQs. Uh, not MCQs. True and, true and false. There are 8 questions. 8 seconds per question. You will not get much time to think. It is obvious or not obvious. So, here is the first question on the screen. So the statement was false, right? Good, but still many people have got it. Yeah. So statement was very much false. Why? Because complement of an acute angle is complement will never be obtuse. First of all, complement is never going to be obtuse because some of the two triangle is two angle is 90 degree. Okay. So if you see x plus y is 90 degrees. If two positive angles are added and you are getting 90, so either of them will be less than 90. So it cannot be obtuse. It cannot be obtuse at all. So false. Okay. Next. So you have to be quick now. So we saw the accuracy part. Let's see the quickness. How quick you are. So stay calm, stay focused. Don't get distracted by, don't look at chat at all. Look at chat after the eighth question. Okay, that's how you can score well. Chalo, next question. Don't get distracted. Again, I'm telling you, focus on the question. Okay, so answer was true. So a complement of an angle cannot be equal to supplement ever. Okay, so uh, very easy it was. Because if you see 90 minus x, if it is equal to 180 minus x, that will that will say 90 is equal to 180, which is not true. Never possible. So hence, not possible. Never. Okay. Understood by all. So these statements you should remember as if they are, you know, you, this should be part of your, okay. Part of your knowledge base. Okay. Next time someone throws this question to you, don't think that time. It's as as you know, it's as common as you can't divide by zero in mathematics like that. It's undefined. So remember like them. Next. Exterior angle is external angle. Okay, that statement was false. So good. Yes, they can be acute as well. Why? You can see uh, many cases actually. So if the, if the sum of the interior opposite angles, so let's say this is bad drawing, bad drawing. Wait. So let me draw an obtuse. Let me draw an obtuse angle. Obtuse angle triangle. So this is an acute angle, right? So let's say this is greater than 90. So this angle, which is sum of this plus this, is less than 90. So it can be acute. Can be acute. Okay. So okay. Next questions. Next question on the board. Now some previous stuff. Let me see if you remember these. So I remember the answer. Oh, 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 oh. Still, 50-50 hmm? Why, why? See, clearly, a minus one is root three. 
I gave you in last end tomorrow also. Last time it was 2 over there. Right? This time I put a 3 over here. So a minus 1 cube is equal to root 3 cube, which is 3 root 3, which is an irrational number. So this is false. Right? It's a false statement. Okay. So previous stuff also has to be revised, guys. It shows that lots of, you know, many of you have again forgotten all those things. Okay, next question. Right, this statement was true statement, isn't it? So, if there is a polynomial fx, fx is equal to let's say uh, a to the power a n x n. If you go by the regular definition which we talked about, finally a one x plus a zero. Right now f zero is zero. So if you put x equals to zero, you are getting zero. That means all will become zero, so it will. That means a naught is also zero. So the constant is also zero. So any function or any polynomial, any polynomial where f zero is happening or f zero is becoming zero, that means there is no constant term in that f x. I hope you understood this. So remember this: any polynomial where there is no constant then fx will be equal to 0 or f0 equal to 0 and the vice versa. Next. Statement is false. Right? Statement was very very again identities. You need not do all the expansion and other things, and you must not forget the identities also. So a plus b is equal to c means a plus b minus c is equal to zero, right? And you square both sides. What will you get? A square plus b square plus c square minus or oh, sorry two ab minus two bc minus two ac is zero. That means a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 2 minus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. Right? You, you no, could have it done it. It still says uh, you didn't go in time. Oh, oh, yeah. So glitches I can understand. But please understand the this thing. How, how do you... You need not do all these calculations either in the... In the right, you know, in the uh, you know exam or something. So what you need to do is, this will never be possible. You have to remember this. This will never be possible because if a plus a and b, if any one of them is negative, then at more at most two will be of negative sign. Not all will be same sign. So this is never this is never possible. So please understand this. Until unless a is equal to b is equal to c, which is zero. So only when Right? Okay. Shallow. Next. Okay. Next question. Ready. root over 4 plus 2 root 3 is equal to 1 plus root 3. True or false? Very good. <laughs> it's true. So most of you would have tried solving it. You need not solve it. You would have simply squared it. Square this. What will you get? 1 plus 3 plus 2 root 3. Done. Fast. 4 plus 2 root 3 which is here. So true. Okay. So don't try to, so in, this is this is the game, right? So you have to just square it. You need not find the square root, okay? And you would have got this true. So statement was very much true.
Pradav is remembering Nani. Okay, next and the last question of the evening. Good. Answer was yes, true and most of you, if you remember we had discussed this and how to solve this, 0.31 bar is simply 31 by 99 and 68 bar is 68 by 99, isn't it? You had, we had done this. Okay, add this one. So you will get 99 by 99. 1. Okay. Understood? So you have to retain all of that what we have learned previously. I told you, didn't I tell you that if this is 0.21 bar, what will this mean? This is simply 21 upon 99. You don't need to calculate anything. Right? So these are all shortcuts. So even and adding them will give you 1, right? Yeah, so on. Yeah, so, but you can't add something which is under the bar. Right? It is repeating. What does this 0.31 bar mean? 31, 31, 31, 31, dot, dot, dot. If you add them, you'll get 9999999999 like that 0.99. Okay, but actually that is limiting to one. So hence answer was true. Sure. So that that brings out or brings the last question is over. So hence closure to the quiz. And uh, here is the final leaderboard. So Tony, no, who who won? Ah, Tony has the highest um, number of points. Very good. Tony, Srijan, Raghav, Anuya and uh, wait one minute. Let me see once again. Yeah, so who are, who all are there? So Tony, Srijan, Raghav, Anuya, Nishant, Karun, Vihan, Vignesh, Harita and Nitin. No new entrant in the top 10. Very good guys. Keep it up. Good. Please remember the previous uh, accuracy. Please let me see the score on accuracy. All of you. Accuracy. 16 by 20. Okay. Next. All of you, please put your accuracy results here. 15 by 20. Okay. Come on. Come on. 12, 16, 17. So far, 17. 17. 17. 17. 17 17. Maximum is 17. Someone said 18 also. Anyone 18? Anyone who got 18? Sir, Tony, I guess. Tony, okay. So, what is the learning, guys? Learning is stay calm. Don't get distracted. And stay focused. You will be able to solve the questions. More you are distracted, more you lose on. So, many of you, if you just reflect back just after this quiz, there will be two, three questions. Definitely, you have lost just because you didn't see the question properly. One was that Sir. 2D question. Yes. Sir, next time can you put like two extra regular questions instead of true and false? Why? So because like true and false is really fast. So like, uh, or can you increase like two to three seconds time? Hold on, guys. So just let me draw an analogy. So let's say you are Sachin Tendulkar. You're not able to play the bouncers. Let's say just just in case. So will you go to Swayab Akhtar or Malcolm Marshall or Alan Donald that, hey, don't bowl bouncers to me or what will you do you'll go to the nets and ask your team members to what bowl bouncers only to you so that you are ready for that is it so in, instead of again don't try to modify or alter the background you yourself get accustomed because this is reality today or tomorrow you are going to be in such spot then what will you do so it's better the more you sweat in peace, the less you bleed in war. So you remember that. Okay. So nothing is going to change. In fact, it is going to be more drastic and more, more dangerous so that you guys are trained. This is a training. This is not the real battlefield. You will learn or you will get the benefits in the real battlefield. So hence. So is there so a general awareness this so Sunday? So can we have general awareness or geography quiz? So, so many people. So let's do geography because that will add to your listing as well. 
instead of geography oh yes okay fair enough so i'll do geography bio centama that's on saturday we do an astronomy centama like please astronomy oh my god so i have yeah. to i i don't know don't that much of astronomy so i'll have to invite my again friends sir, from no uh, astronomy sir nobody will get anything she is like the only person who answers the geography <laughs> on saturday or sunday astronomy so yes sir no astronomy ज्योग्रफी Quiz was half done last time, so let's complete that because otherwise, you know, so those, those you will be anyways uh, benefited out of that. So let's do that first. General awareness, anyways, we'll do no problem. So we'll do that. Don't worry. No Saturday or Sunday. Saturday there is a bio quiz, a bio uh, this thing, centimar. Thursday we'll have physics centimar. All these things we'll do on Sunday. Okay. Chal. Bye. Take care. Stay safe. You guys. Bye. Thank you, sir. Take care. Bye. Bye.